Well, I mentioned, you know, the containment of the Soviet Union um, and, uh, and the ability to, you know, improve our national defense, our national security with uh, modernization of our strategic weapons, um, the National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA, though, though controversial, was one of his most important achievements in terms of, you know, taking into account the impact on of, of federal projects on the environment. Uh, I, for one, the North Cascades uh, National Park I, is, is one of his, you know, the Youth Conservation Corps. Uh, you know, I mentioned this, the Commission on Strategic Modernization. I mean, the, the list of things, creating the Department of Energy and uh, the, the and and the reforming of the uh, Energy and Natural Resources Committee. Uh, Senator Jackson had a you know, did, did not have a uh, a short list of accomplishments. He got a lot of things done, and uh, uh, was was one of the and, and a big advocate on civil rights, uh, which I think some people forget that uh, and and. Um, and, and of course, Jackson Vanek was another important thing for the for the Jewish people in Russia. I happened to make a number of trips myself to the Soviet Union. I can remember meeting with these people and having a list of names that we would give to the to the Soviet our Soviet counterparts, and many of them were released uh, because of that. So the Jackson Vanek legislation was very important. And uh, and Senator Jackson was also a very strong, but if not the, he and Hubert Humphrey, uh, the strongest supporters of Israel in the Congress, which was very important. So, uh, and you know, he was recognized uh, as not only a leader in defense and national security, but on on all uh, environmental issues. The uh, the Alaska Native Claims legislation, which is fundamentally important. The the um, the uh, legislation to make uh, Hawaii and Alaska uh, it, uh, the, the the fiftieth and 49th state, uh, and that was on done on a bipartisan basis. So he had an amazing record of achievement, and uh, and that's one of the reasons he was so respected is because he was a person who got things done. I mean, you look at the Congress today. I mean, these are the kind of things we're talking about are just you know maybe would happen in five Congresses. I mean, it, I mean, take five Congresses to even get one of them done. It's just uh, such a different era.